Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today we seem to have um, a surprise Atomic Shop update, which is probably part of the Bombs Drop anniversary, so I thought we would just do a quick video on this because I do like to keep you guys updated with the Atomic Shop. So let's get into this. It definitely looks like some good stuff and some good deals. Okay, close shave bundle. We'll look at that after we look at all this stuff because it probably includes most of it. Now, the close shave outfit, that is pretty creepy. <laughs> I like that, I have to admit. That's a cool mask, too. Love it. I wish I had more atoms. Um, Gnerva's... Gnerva's... I cannot pronounce that. Nurse outfit. If you want to look like Genervies. <laughs> um, honeycomb paper lamp set. These look really cool. These are like a must-have for haunted houses, for sure. Man, I love Halloween. Good job, Bethesda. Good job, Bethesda, on the update. Love it. Pumpkin Smasher paint. Ooh. I wish the assault rifle was a better weapon, though. But have to say, it's still not bad. Real cool paint if there's any assault rifle lovers out there. Definitely a cool paint. Love it. Look at the skull on the side and the atomic shop, uh, or the atomic symbol, I guess you would say. Awesome. Um, cardboard. What? Cardboard robot costume. <laughs> That's hilarious. I might have to make one of these in real life. This is making me inspired. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Love to see new stuff like this. Okay, so, and the barber's chair. Just a little off the top. Okay, I'm guessing it's just a normal chair. Probably nothing amazing from it. Um, like, I'm thinking buff-wise. Okay, let's check out the robot smasher bundle. Okay, so you get the robot, cardboard robot outfit. Oh, the pumpkin skin for the assault rifle. The hanging, um, what are they called? Decorations, the honeycomb paper decorations. Not a bad bundle for twelve hundred, and the close shave bundle for fifteen hundred. So you get the close shave outfit, um, the nurse's outfit that I can't pronounce, and the barber chair. So very cool. But this is not it yet. And of course, the spooky candy bowl. Share your mystery candy with the spooky candy bowl. The spooky candy bowl is a container which can dispense mystery candy at your camp. And it usually involves, like, a lot of challenges for dailies and stuff will probably involve you going to players' camps, collecting candy, or even one person coming to your camp and collecting candy. It's kind of like the trick-or-treat theme for Halloween, which is cool, I think. So we're going to be looking for those, so make sure you grab this off the Atomic Shop. I'm pretty sure it's free. And yeah, that's it for this, but let's keep going. There's other stuff I noticed. Oops. Now this, I don't remember being in here. Yeah, I don't. Let's check these out. All this other stuff I do. But this, I'm not sure. Like, that's a pretty cool outfit. And then we have the workbench as well, the car workbench. Um, the jetpack skin. Um, some Mr. Fuzzy. Uh, um backpack flare and just some rustic cars for your camps very cool and it's on sale look at this one from 1200 to 600 sheer terror bundle so if you want to look like paul bunyan ah that's cool actually i like the black version of this uh, outfit actually that's kind of nice it's a different from the uh the more cream colored one that i'm not a huge fan of but that looks awesome uh, Deathclaw rug and a Pip Boy skin, I assume. Bad news, Billy headwear. Bad news, Billy outfit. <laughs> so this is the bad news bundle, I would have called it. <laughs> eh, a big meh on that one. Um, get off my lawn. <laughs> okay, so we have. A warning sign. Tactical Ops Under Armor. That's cool. We got some uh, Sheep Squatch plushies. Um, is the Go Away sign? Yes, the neon signs. Ooh, I might have to get this. That's not a bad deal, actually. I might just get this one. I like this bundle. And a skin for the camera. Not bad. I might just get this. I want those signs. Very cool. So yeah, I don't think those were there last week. I could be wrong, but I don't think they were. 
Um, lunch boxes are on for 800. Take my money. I have to get one of those. <laughs> it's for leveling up purposes. Um, I think these may be new as well, too. Let's just go through these quick. Clean bathroom bundle we have here for 413 if you don't already have the clean shower and the clean toilet like myself. Um, camp structure bundle. Uh, that may have been in there last week. I'll still go through it. Sorry about that. Um, display frame set. I don't remember this being there last week either. Although my memory is horrible. Um, welcome back. That's a cool skin for the power armor. Um, is it just... Ah, it's a power armor paint set, so very nice. I forgot I had that. A prefab as well, I'm guessing. Log cabin kit. Nice. Okay, what else do we got here? The lumberjack bundle. That's, oh, no, that's not the one I just looked at. So the other log cabin pre-bundles in here as well. Um, the table and chairs. I have all this stuff. It's really cool, actually. Like, you'd be surprised how cool these rocks can, you know, make your camp look. <laughs> and a Paul Bunyan outfit, of course. The treetop daredevil's outfit. Okay. Wildwood Tavern Bundle. This is quite the update. This is one of the best prefabs, in my opinion. Um, not to mention, um, yeah, it's only 100 for me. I'm not sure how much it would be for everybody else. But, um, yeah, I love all this stuff. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't come with the tables that you get a glimpse of in that picture there. But still a great bundle, I think. This is an awesome prefab, trust me. Lots of room inside it. Um, and the Cappy's Train Bundle. Not going to lie, this thing is great, but the... the the train going choo-choo will annoy you. Most people, I'm just throwing that out there, although it is very cool. Um, and yeah, some Nuka cola stuff. If you have a Nuka cola uh, themed um, camp, then this may be the uh, bundle for you. Okay, and that's it for here. Those lunchboxes on for 800 were a must for me. Okay, this is all from last week as well, which is very cool stuff. Quite the update. Ooh, a nuclear key card is free for today. Uh, the Nuka World Geyser outfit, or shirt, I guess. Um, the Pale R Rider. I think that's new, too. That's actually pretty cool. It's for the T45, T51, T60, Ultrasight, and X01. So no Union, Hellcat, or um, T65, unfortunately. So just keep that in mind if you're buying that. And the Watch Post. I think this may be new as well. This is awesome. I wonder if we're getting a new update for the Atomic Shop tomorrow, too. Love it, Bethesda. Love it. Awesome little update here. Okay, and that seems to be it. Um, I would still, you know, like I always say, hide owned and go check in here. Like that gold combat dagger, I don't know if that was in there last week. I could be wrong. Definitely go check. And camp items as well. Just to make sure, you know, there's maybe something... That you weren't paying attention to. And like I said, they don't always appear in the featured as well. And that's pretty much it. Other than I just want to show you guys, it's not double XP like I thought it was. That would have been awesome if it was, but it's not double XP. And there is no birthday event going on right now or anything that I can see here. So I just thought I would share that with you guys as well. Pretty much looks like we got a, a more or less of an Atomic Shop update. If there's anything that I missed about the Bomb Drops anniversary, please let me know in the comments and maybe we could make another video about it if it's interesting enough or if it's enough content. That would be awesome. And again, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.